sunny Texas, first day of the Adelita's Way tour. Stoked, it's summer again. You wanna kinda of carve out a hole like this? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Got it! <laughs> That's oh, not correct. Hey. Right. Brady from New Medicine, this is Coop. Merch for New Medicine. Hi. <laughs> Race you to the bottom! Uh, what it's like touring with the other bands. Yeah, well, uh, Adelita's Way, we were out for uh, last summer with uh, with Hailstorm, and that's when we met him. We spent a month out on the road with him then, and we hit it off instantly. Uh, Derek and I feel like are brothers from a different mother, so we are uh, both bass players, and uh, we have the same kind of sense of humor. I just got sick! <laughs> How's the first week of tour going for you? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've been out with Adelita's Way before. Um, it's cool to see these guys again, to see uh, you know the, the bands grow, the success that they've had since last year. Hey, this is Brad Pitt. You guys are taking time off from some movies right now. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Ryan. This is Jake. What up? Coming at you from the uh, Adelita's Way Tour 2011. Um, here we are, in Texas. Well... We're uh, 250 miles into our journey out of Minneapolis, and we are out of gas. I forgot. We should have got gas a while ago. Our gas cage is kind of broken, though, to be honest. It wasn't yeah. all my fault. That's true. We're oh, sitting on the side of the road, which usually, my little dirt bike here, you can see over here, was meant for occasions like that where we bust down in the van and we need to go search for rescue. But... You guys think you should get a gas can? Nah. We got one We're now. We're good now, yeah. But at the time, you know, we didn't have one in the... Uh... <laughs> so then we made a sign that said, just said gas. We stuck it out by the end of our trailer. I was holding it. We need gas! Eventually this like old rusty Mazda rolls up. These like really friendly people with no teeth. Uh, apparently, they drove around to the next exit, came back for us, yeah. found out later, which is really nice of them. They, uh, you we, know, we gave them Coop, our merch guy. Never to be seen again. We'll see if Coop ever comes back. Uh, half hour later, I'm trying to call him. His phone's off, so I figured he was, he was done for. Or Coop would be pretty good at being kidnapped. I think. He would be like he's a good team player. He would become really good friends with the people. Yeah. He wouldn't even be mad at them, would he? No, he probably wouldn't be. He'd probably become friends with them and be like, "It's cool. I'll just stay." He's a survivor. They showed up and had the gas can that you see there, and they had the coop, and everything worked out. And uh, we got on our merry little. Way. Gain some fans, and then, then we, we go to the gas station, <laughs> and they say, "I'm serious, man. You gotta hide your drugs. You go to Texas, you gotta hide your drugs. I know you got drugs in there. I mean, you know, you got them weed I know you guys at least smoke that weed or that reefer. I you mean, guys got weed papers. Make sure you got tobacco with it too. <laughs> so put some tobacco with your weed. So, uh, be honest. Do you guys have drugs in the van? No. I'm not convinced. 